What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You have Brody and Silver Sage back with another fun, exciting video. And if you follow us over on Instagram, you would have seen my story where I said I did a bad thing. I lied to you guys once again. I lied once before and I said I will never open 2023 Absolute Football on this channel again. I did. And I've lied again. Because here we are, folks, we are back with 2023 Absolute Football. But you might be wondering, wait a second, these aren't the red crappy boxes that are just sitting on the shelves because no one is buying them because it is the worst product of 2023. You are right. These, my friends, these are the 2023 Absolute Football Hobby Blaster Boxes. So similar to what they did with Prism, and they came out with Hobby Blaster Boxes with Prism. And they had the little fancy things. They did the same thing with Absolute Football. These They're calling these the Hobby Absolute Football Blasters. I got these from Ste uh, Steel City Collectibles. They are $40 a piece. So we're opening $120 worth. It's a big opening, a big video for us today. Three blasters, $120. Now looking at these, not very different says the same exact thing. Look for autographs and memorial memorabilia cards. Sage, we already know autographs don't come out of these things. I've never seen it. I've never pulled it. I've never heard of it. It's literally just mem cards or nothing. Yep. Over here, we're looking for purple parallels. Are you going to be able to tell it's purple and not blue like some of the other ones? No, because <laughs> it's literally just text. So the only thing here is the kabooms and the explosives. That's it. On the back, it's all the same stuff. Nothing is different. Nothing has changed. But the question is, are these hobby blasters, did they realize how bad their product was for retail? And did they just load these up with kablooms, explosives, and autographs? Because they forgot to put them in all the other retail. That's the question we're going to find out today, Sage. What do you think? This is where the – I want a numbered kaboom. I, I'm getting greedy, but this is where the gold. <laughs> this is where the. I don't think you can pull that from here. This Sage. is where the gold kabooms are. <laughs> no, you can only pull the horizontal ones. You can't even pull the vertical kabooms out. Wait, of what? Vertical kabo Vertical kabooms are only in hobby. Oh. So these are all the horizontal. And the ones. gold ones only if come in the hobby. I, I would assume I don't I don't see any sort of number. All right, let us know in the comments where you get a gold kaboom because that's what I'm going for next. In the in the meantime, we're waiting for that hobby box to drop. Sage, it's still at six hundred dollars, which is about four hundred dollars too high. Yeah. In the meantime, the we'll just take exactly we'll same. take a regular kaboom. In the meantime, that is something to note. The hobby boxes or the hobby mega boxes and the hobby blaster boxes of Prism. They actually had different color packs, but it seems that Panini has created the same color pack. So nothing different there, but we will look at the purple and see how much different that is. So same, same uh, base structure, right? You get like five or six base cards to start. Then you get your couple of rookies. There we get a Bijan rookie. And then that is the purple right there. Holy cow. That is... I mean, that's impossible. It's even worse in a picture, like on eBay. There's so it, many miss. That is <laughs> so many missed listings on you, eBay. <laughs> can you even see it right here? Yeah, you can see it a little bit. With the but once there's there, a little glare, that. it's like nope, you can't even tell. There, there's nothing, right? right? Yes. <laughs> it's gotta be. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know why they do that. All right, a nice Will Levis though on the buy store. All right. All right. Oh. Guess what this is? Guess what this is? Our mem pack? It's a mem. It's a mem. Because you do not, you can't get autographs. It looks like it's a, oh wait. No, I lied. Wait a second. This feels a little thicker, Sage. Is that a kaboom in the back there? They, they sneak, they sneak an extra one in here for us, Sage. If, I mean, if we hit a kaboom tonight, I'm waking Kelsey up. I'm waking the Corgis up. Everyone's waking up. Kelsey refuses to open absolute. Ooh. There we go. It's a nice Anthony Richardson, though, on the introductions. Kid no kaboom, though. No that kaboom. was the unique right. card that messed I, up the pack there. Yeah, it fell a little thicker. 
it did feel a little thicker. I'm getting I'm getting better at that. Before, when people would say like, "Oh, this pack feels thicker," I literally thought they were lying. Yeah. But when you open up enough of these things, you really can start telling uh, when there's one extra card in there, which is wild. Stetson Bennett, Dylan Horton, Jaden Reed, and one of the worst pictures they could have picked of this guy. I uh, I don't know. I don't know how it made. It, he is crazy enough to maybe say like I want that photo. Well, it's a, a call. it's a rock out, so they're trying to get him like dancing and doing something weird, like he's uh, you know, playing the electric guitar, and dancing at a concert or something. Now these rookie cards, Sage, they really don't hold too much value. This one does. Ooh. There's that purple Najee Harris, Ooh. which is like, oh wait, oh Stargate. Oh. Okay. Stargazing of Mac Jones. Um, yeah, they don't they don't hold too much value, but CJ Stroud still sells crazy out of here. We've sold a couple base CJ Strouds already on eBay for like eight, ten, twelve dollars. So CJ Stroud sells well. I think Puka, you can get I think Puka sells for three to five bucks. I think is is roughly what it is on absolute, uh, for his absolute base there. So it's really just the the biggest of big rookies. You can actually uh, get a little bit of value from them, but everyone else pretty much uh, it's it's pretty slim pickings. I'm gonna tell you right now, Sage. They got me, brother. <laughs> they got me. Well, is this the one you ordered a long time ago and forgot you ordered it? No, that was Dick Sporting. <laughs> okay, that was... they got me there too. <laughs> So what's the excuse on this one? Uh, they put hobby in oh, it. And I was it. like, okay, this is a different. I was yeah. like, this is, I've literally opened every single absolute product of retail I have seen. And uh, well, there's our first purple rookie there. All right. I wonder if you get one purple rookie per box. Maybe that's like their way of saying, here you go, have a cookie. They have but I've opened up every single type of retail from this product, Sage. I'm just and gonna say they haven't they, got me again. they haven't got you until we're through this video or through this opening without a kaboom. Are you you're so you're staying you're staying uh you're staying optimistic you're here with absolutely you've had like 35 reds in a row. It's gonna come black right here. <laughs> Eventually a kaboom I mean, will come. I can't be the only sucker that saw hobby. <laughs> in the name and was like i need to buy three of these instantly the nice thing is of us doing these videos there's a will levis the nice thing of us doing these videos though is we're preventing others from wasting their money i hope so right like that is that's the only benefit we didn't even get a mem card there sage yeah well are we uh Filing as are we filing Panini with papers no. here soon? I was gonna say, what's our top situation with the uh, no autos? Uh, Do we have any sort of update on that? No update. I sent it in immediately, and I've heard like two to three weeks, sometimes two months. So I'm just waiting and checking the mail. Do you want to explain to maybe some people that haven't seen that video what we're talking about? Yeah. So Brody and I ripped a. Uh, a jumbo hobby box series one for baseball 2024 and it said guaranteed at one auto and we didn't get an auto so <clears throat> i said oh that's a nice one bryce young yeah we'll pull him out oh there we go this is gonna be on the uh the rookie force oh nice rookie force quentin johnson uh, Quentin Johnston there. All right, continue. Sorry. So yeah, no, I, we sent in and I'm actually logging into the website right now just to see if they gave me an update. Um, but, uh, we sent in a package with a letter of what happened, a barcode from the box and a receipt. And supposedly they re return an auto to you. And I was asking a friend of mine who had this happen to him. And apparently they return to you sometimes a pretty good auto. Like it's not a random auto. They send you an auto in the mail. So uh, I was wondering, can't just people lie and say that they don't have an auto. So I made sure to put our YouTube video where we were had proof of like mm -hmm. opening it. But uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see what comes up of it. 
but it's just like anything, right? Like Amazon returns and uh, insurance fraud. Uh, the way that people get caught for lying is by just doing it too much and not realizing it. So I'm pretty sure if you missed out on your 24th auto from Tops in, in the last six months, <laughs> they're going to block your account and stop letting you buy product, right? I want them to send us another box. That would be nice. I don't want just one auto. Right. Send us another That's box. That's the way to do it because it's still a random auto in there. If they just send an auto and it's some uh, low tier player, it's like, wait, no. That's not fair. You just <laughs> handpicked the worst auto in the back and fired it off to me? <laughs> That's kind of like what uh, Panini does a little bit with their point system. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, we did get very lucky. I ended up buying for 3000 points, which those packs were selling well over a hundred dollars. I got a, I got a Phoenix sparkle, um, a Phoenix sparkle pack that was selling well over a hundred dollars or no white shimmer maybe is what it was. I think it might've been white shimmer, a Phoenix white shimmer pack. Yep. And it cost us 3000 panini points that we ended up getting, you know, they should have been autos, but they just give you points. And the only thing I don't like about that, Sage, is, is they make you pay for it. They make you pay for shipping. $10 to ship. And it's like, wait a second. I'm only having to do this because you guys don't put the cards in the box that you say you're supposed to put in the box. And then you just give me points. So it, it does seem like a little bit of a scam because – yeah, I'm just one wee little person, but you have a thousand people doing that. That's ten thousand dollars that they made off of not even giving you an auto multiple times. Yeah, it's, ooh, Tank Dell. It should definitely be something. If you're spending over a certain amount of points, it's free shipping. I could see if you wanted them to ship off every ah. every lit. Oh, I'm gonna get a sticker. Ship it to me. So, but at a certain point level, absolutely, three thousand should get you free shipping. That makes sense. Yeah, because if you're just going to use 50 <laughs> points to get a little whatever, you could you could ship them to death. <laughs> Which is what I'm sure some people want to do after missing their after missing yes. their autos. <laughs> or, yeah, especially opening these prison boxes that are $900 and you don't get a single auto. Oh, that's, that's, that's brutal watching these people. Heartbreaking. I got to bring those people up because that's the only thing that's keeping me sane right now from opening these things. <laughs> I keep telling myself I'm never going to do this. And Kelsey refuses to open this product. I was like, hey, we're going to open a few, you know, absolute footballs tonight. No, I'm absolutely not. Doing that. I was like, oh, she doesn't want to be right. part of the bloodbath. See, see you later. Yeah, but if we hit, if we hit a, uh, if we hit a kaboom, you guys were all there. There are some people that probably have watched every single one of these absolute videos thinking to themselves, why, why am I watching this? And Hey, you might be watching it for this very reason right here. Three packs left Sage. These are, why are these $40 or why are these $10 more expensive? I have no idea. The purple, the normal, <laughs> the normal. <laughs> yeah. Cause you get this, you get a purple Mac Jones oh my God. for, for ten dollars more, thirty dollars for the other blasters is already a ripoff. Forty for this is just an absolute like. I'm taking a knife and I'm just stabbing it straight into my eyeball. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing really gets me going like absolute football does. Hen and Hooker, Zach Harrison, Tyler Scott, and a oh is that Bijan? Oh, that's a cool Bijan. I don't think I actually have this one yet. This is a new one. We don't. I've never, uh, never gotten a introductions Bijan. Last pack, Sage. Do you have anything to say for yourself for being so optimistic this whole time? I was actually just trying to. I got the box on my screen, just trying to see if we were guaranteed a memorabilia, so I could see if I can file a <laughs> suit against Panini. But it looks like <laughs> we're not. <laughs> just says look for. They covered their bases on this one. They covered their bases on this one. No CJ Stroud either, it looks like. And uh, we finished with a Tyree Wilson purple. Just think about how sweet it's going to be when no, you – I'm not thinking about anything. <laughs> when you today. do pull the kaboom. Not this year. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Here's the thing I hate too, folks. Here's the thing I hate too. They had a mega box. 
Oh no. They had an absolute hobby mega you box, and you already know I bought it. I bought it. Oh, no. So if you want to stay with us, I will be opening a hobby absolute mega box for eighty dollars oh, no. for this box. Eighty dollars for this box. Um so tune in, subscribe. By all means, please like this video. That is the only thing that will keep us going after this. I mean, look what we just got for $120, Sage. This this is what we got. I mean, is this the biggest? It's actually a great I mean it's a great is... business model from Panini. We gotta hand it to him. <laughs> we gotta hand it to him. They put a really rare card that's worth a lot of money. And they don't put them in any boxes. <laughs> it's actually brilliant. <laughs> oh, it, it, uh, yeah. I mean, that is one way of doing it, I guess. Yeah. It, it, I mean, they got a lot of our money. Yes. That's for sure. Yes. I've bought a lot of these boxes. We've bought a lot of All these right. boxes. And we're going to hit on the next yeah. mega box. So tune in for our first ever Kaboom coming next. We'll see you there. Keep ripping them packs.